Well, good day. I've got a hypothetical for you. If your BMW motorcycle doesn't have its little blue and white BMW symbol on it, are you really a BMW rider? It's a bit of a silly hypothetical, I know. Um, but just recently I was refueling and uh, another guy who was at the, the station complimented me on the bike and I said, thank you very much. And then he said, what sort is it? And I looked at him for a bit and I thought, a thought came to my mind and I quickly turned and looked at the bike and yes, sure enough, my little BMW tank badge had fallen off. No idea at what point it came off. I don't think someone has levered it off. There's no signs of any damage to it, uh, but it's gone. So exactly where it is, I don't know. Uh, so I went into BMW, probably says more about me than anything else that I was overcome or somewhat obsessed with the urgency of replacing it. So I went into my uh, BMW dealer and purchased one of these lovely little um, enamel tank badges. It was about $75 Australian, um, which is not cheap. That sort of didn't surprise me with BMW, but it's quite a lovely little item. It's actually got a, a curved enamel front and the back of it is a metallic um, plate so it can actually come apart and that's actually what's happened on the tank here. The, the, the back plate of that little badge is remaining there and the enamel bits fallen off the front. So what I've actually got to do, uh, this, this little badge here um, actually has some adhesive on the back. It comes with a um, some stick-on adhesive and I'm going to use a little bit of glue as well but firstly I need to get this plate off here because that little badge goes directly onto the tank. So uh, when sort of looking for some information about how to do this there's not a lot on video uh, on the web. Um, most of what I'm going to try today I've read about uh, on forums and so forth. So I thought I'd just record it uh, to add a little bit of vi video to the collection of material on the web about replacing tamp badges and um, we'll see how it goes. Okay. Okay, so the bits and pieces I have. Firstly, a hairdryer to sort of heat up the adhesive a little bit in the background there to help get that off. So just a hairdryer, not a heat gun. We don't want uh, very high heat. Uh, just something that'll loosen the adhesive a little bit. And I have here, I don't know whether you can see it, a bit of fishing line. So what I'm going to do is actually heat up uh, the adhesive and then try and work this off um, with the fishing line. So we'll see how we go. Okay, we'll see how that goes, if I can get this fishing line behind there. Might need a little bit of a tool to help me do that. Okay, that's got it. If I can just get a grip on it, I might think I can probably pull it through reasonably well. Okay, I can feel it sort of coming on there. Feel it giving way a little bit. Pretty tough on the fingers though. A bit more heat into it. Got it moving a little bit more there, I think. That's got it. And there she goes. She's off, and I haven't damaged too much with my little bicycle tire lever there. There she goes. It's quite a nice little item in itself. But that is exactly the same as uh, what's on the back there.
Okay, well I might give this a little bit of a clean up, I think, uh, with some rubbing alcohol. Prepare the surface and then we'll glue it on. Okay, so I've got a little bit of uh, rubbing alcohol here in the chucks rag. So I'll just clean it up a little bit so it's got some good uh, surface to, for the new adhesive to stick on. A little bit of gum there, we'll get rid of that. Okay, well that's looking pretty clean now. There was quite a, quite a bit of gum on there. Um, so needed a little bit of fingernail along with the, um, the rubbing alcohol, but it seems to have come off quite well. It's nice and clean. I'll just give it one last spray and a polish up for, for good luck. And I think we're ready after it dries to put our little badge on. Now I was actually thinking of putting some glue on, uh, but it looks like originally there's been no glue there. It's just used this adhesive here that actually comes with the badge. So before I do that, I just might check exactly the orientation of it. Looks about like that. Okay, well, here we go. Roughly to how it's going to sit. So I don't know or not whether I'm being overly optimistic not additionally gluing that on there, but it hadn't been additionally glued on there before. Oh goodness me, look at that. Isn't that nice to see it back again? <laughs> Just to check. Yeah, it's on there nice and tightly. I don't think there's any way that's going to come off easily. Okay, well, there it is. It's all back on. I'm a BMW rider again. Um, but it certainly does look, at, make, look a lot better when it's on than when it's off. Um, just quickly, the tools I used, um, hair dryer, a bit of fishing line, some rubbing alcohol and a rag. And I found that in the end I just needed a plastic, um, in this case, bicycle tyre lever just to help me lever the last bit off. But um, I did not feel that I needed to use like a, an additional adhesive there. Um, the, the original BMW one had nothing on there, so hopefully that'll stay on. Um, and yes, my confidence as a BMW rider restored. <laughs>